Hi, my name is Felipe Schmidt, and I'm part of the ServiceNow Solution Architecture team at ITSM Group. So at this video and all of the upcoming videos, I'm going to be sharing with you a lot of knowledge about the platform in terms of coding and how can you code smarter and faster. Today, we are going to talk about get ref record. It's a method on the ServiceNow platform in which can help you to reduce a lot of code and also to make stuff much, much easier. So let's start talking about this method, get ref record. As the method says, it gets a reference record. So it returns a glide record object and you have access to all of its attributes. So let's say for example here, in this incident form, we have the field color in which we have David Miller here, for example, populated. And we would like to return or to get this record and have access to all of the fields from this user. So there are many ways of doing this. And I think the most usual way that I see people doing is by simply doing a glide record, giving this user sysid as a parameter in the function, and then returning and accessing all the fields from this user record here. And this is exactly uh, an example that I have prepared here as a background script. So. Let me show you also step-by-step step of the platform so you know how do I get where I am. And I have written this simple code in here. I have an incident, and this is the sysid of my incident that I have opened in here, in which I'm trying to access the caller sysid, and I'm getting this, and I'm doing a glide record and simply printing this here. So this is, as I said, probably the most usual way that I've seen people doing this. Um, and as you can see, I need to get uh, the sysid first, and then I need to do a glide record, and then I need to access and get this user object, and then I can access those. But if I tell you that by using get ref record, as I have written here below, makes things much, much easier and faster, I'm going to show you this right now so that you can believe me. So I'm going to uncomment here, but basically the thing that we are doing, that's the only difference from here at the top, is that whenever we have a reference object, we can simply call this get ref record, meaning instead of doing another glide record to get that, you have already the object here. So the only thing you need to do is simply call it. Color.name, color.active, and you can simply do the same thing. Let me also uncomment here because this is a, a next example that I'm going to do with you. So I have here David Miller and active false. So now what we want to do, we want to make this user active again. Since we have the color here already, as we have the whole object in here, we can simply access what we want. We can make the update and we can simply call the update and the user will be active. So let me run it again. And we see that the operation was performed. So the user was updated and now we have the user as active as we previously didn't have. And why this get ref record is so useful. And the main thing is that this can save you a lot of lines of code. I can share with you some previous experiences that I had, which saved me a lot of time and a lot of lines of code to make it also more readable. One time I needed to create one API and in this API, I needed to access a lot of fields in there in from, from a user object. And then I could simply do that as we have in here, like we have color and I could access color.name, color.email, etc. And I could simply use this um, update in here. Once I was creating a business rule and in this business rule, I needed to make some updates in a reference record from that table. So instead of doing lots of glide records, I could simply do one get ref record and I could take that object and manipulate and update everywhere I wanted. 
ServiceNow also provides you a knowledge article in which gives you some more details and deeper details about everything and also with a resolution in here with some more validations to make the things run very smooth and you don't have any issues while coding. I hope you have enjoyed the video and that this little hint can help you to code smarter. Take care.